Hey there, ladies and gents. Today, we're gonna do a simple, real simple mod video for Valheim. I'm gonna be talking about how I install mods from Thunderstore. There are other mod managers you can use. Like for example, I used to use Vortex. I won't get too much into Vortex. This is mostly gonna be about Thunderstore and how to do it from there because I've found it's the most simple. So I'm not gonna be getting into Vortex mod manager at all. We're just gonna be talking about Thunderstore. So, first things first, you're gonna go to, you type in Thunderstore, can't fucking type, Thunderstore Mod Manager. Link in description as well. Um, so it's gonna pull this up. Um, you could just go ahead and hit download. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit download. And we're just going to save it. It don't matter. This is an EXE. So it's going to open up the Thunderstore Mod Manager installer. We're going to click next. Um, we want to create a desktop shortcut. So keep it, you know, how it is default. Unless you don't want a desktop shortcut for whatever reason. Allow accept in red. Blah, blah, blah. Next. It's going to start downloading the software. Pretty simple. You're just going through the normal install process. All right, so once it's done installing, we're gonna hit launch. So you're gonna have your game selection screen. Now, all of these games, you, you know, if you're modding, um, I would assume the same things I'm about to show you for Valheim would apply for these games as well. Not sure, but I will assume. Anyways, let's search the game we're looking for, which in this case, it is Valheim. Uh, go ahead and hit a star. So it's at the front of the list every time. Select game. We're using the Steam version. It's gonna load up. Pretty simple, I just keep it default, uh, but this is if you wanna have multiple different profiles. So select profile. Oh, and I already have things installed. All right, so gonna be meted with this screen. Um, we have two buttons up here, modded and vanilla. So this is an easy way to just open the normal the vanilla version of Valheim versus the modded one. Obviously we're doing mods, so we're gonna be messing with this button. Not yet though. So if we go down to settings, um, if you look at these three buttons here, this is this pretty much just tells you the location of each of these things. Like your browse data folder can be found here. Browse profile folder can be found here. Your data folder found here. This is where you actually change the location. So change data folder directory. This is where the mods will be stored. This is where you change your game, which we already have Valheim selected up here. Change profile. This is where you can change your mod profiles. Change your Steam directory. So this is where Steam is located. My Steam directory is in its normal spot. Um, I'm going to click on this. I'll show you. Um, so let's just go to uh, this PC. C drive. Uh, program files 86. There's my Steam. So it's gonna it's asking for an exe. So there's the Steam exe. Um, Valheim directory. This is where Valheim is found. So I'll just show you. This is where Steam can find the location of your game, which is gonna be in Steam, Steam apps, Common. There's all my games. There's Valheim right there. Pretty much. I'm just showing you how the settings are on here. Um, you shouldn't have to change anything really. The only thing that you might have to change is probably your Steam directory or your Valheim directory. Those are the two things you might actually have to change depending on where your Steam's at. But luckily, my computer already knows where it's at. Another easy way to find your Steam directory is, let's go to Steam. You're gonna go to Library Home. Most of us know how to do this, but just in case you don't, here's an easy way to find where your game's found. So, okay, here's Valheim, right click, um, manage, browse local files. It's gonna take you right to that bad boy. So, so anyway, let's just ignore all this. We don't have any mods installed. Well, fuck me, we're gonna have to get some. Get mods. Um, here's Bep and X right here. All right, so we've searched Bepinex. Also, it might already be pinned because, you know, this is an essential mod you're gonna want for pretty much anything. Bepinex, which I'm not, I'm not a coder, look, okay. But I, if, if from my understanding, Bepinex basically allows a lot of mods to easily uh, access the game files and change them. 
I'm not sure, but most mods need Batman X, so we're going to download it. Um, download with dependencies. Um, I don't think it has any. It might. Dependencies are other things that are that should go along with the mod. Some mods may need more than one mod to go along with it. You know, download with dependencies. Why not? Let's just open the game with Batman X. So, Batman X is installed. Um, I have the correct Valheim directory set to where the game's at. So let's just open Valheim and see what happens. I'm going to click a modded. And it's going to go ahead and open it. Okay, so you will see this screen. As you can see, oh, whoop. Okay, so it pulled up the actual game. Um, if it opens up the command line and starts showing some Bepinex stuff, that means that everything is working. And you'll see a lot more stuff. Running Bepinex at the top. One plugin loaded. That's Bepinex, obviously. Press F5 to open console. So there's your console. You can access your console without Bepinex, but, you know, here it is. Um, it also say that you're playing a modded version of Valheim. If it does not say this down here, then you are not doing that. Something is wrong. If you're using Thunderstore, you shouldn't really have any issues. At least I have, I've found zero. I mean, I know it can be different per machine, but on mine, everything's been fine. Bepin X doesn't really do anything for us. I mean, sure, you can configure a lot more stuff now, which I'll show you. So here's Bepin X right here. Edit config. Oh, we got some new stuff here. So here's the configuration stuff for Bepin X. These actually won't be here, these two. Ignore those two. Um, so to find these configuration files, I mean, Thunderstore makes it simple. You can just click on them, edit config. Here we go. We can start changing stuff here. It makes it simple, makes it in an actual UI that's easy to read, that's not code intensive. Um, so, you know, not sure what half this shit does, but you know, it gives you some stuff you can tinker with. Scroll around in it and see what the fuck you can do. I mean, Thunderstore is, it, it's easy. It's easy. You can change whatever you want from here. Okay, so let's get some more mods. Another one you're going to want is the uh, Jotun. Jotun, the Valheim library, was created with the goal of making the lives of mod developers easier. It enables you to create mods for Valheim using an abstracted API so you can focus on the actual content creation. Basically, Jotun, Jotun is used to make modding easier for modders in some way or another. I'm not sure how, because again, I don't do that stuff. But thank you for the people who actually have put into work. Um, cause the game has pretty good mod support. So we're just going to download it. going to add it automatically. So there it is. Now them two are installed. Let's, uh, you know, let's, let's get a little crazy now. You ever smoked weed? You ever smoked the hashish in Valheim? Well, well, I mean, let's, let's see if we can. Let's get mods. Uh, uh, weed. There we go. Val weed. Let's download that shit. I want it. Better creative. I really like this one. Better creative is a good one uh, by Heiner Man Configuration Manager. This might be it. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Okay. Official Bepinex Configuration Manager by Azumat. Thank you, sir. Download. Download with dependencies, always. Okay, we got this installed too. Now this is going to help us actually um, edit the properties of these mods in-game, which I'll show you more about when we open it. We have everything we need to get started. Um, we have Valweed and Better Creative. Uh, Better Creative just makes your creative experience easier, easier to build, easier to... It just makes it easier, okay? Valweed, I'm going to assume is weed in, in Valheim uh and then we got a configuration manager which does what I just said so let's open the game all right so it's open we got five plugins loaded running Bep and X everything checks out you're playing a modded version of Valheim okay so with the configuration manager what I just installed you press f1 
boom, pulls up all the mods that you currently have installed that you can edit. So you can look in here, you know, whenever, better creative has debug mode, dev commands, ghost, God, no cost, all already enabled. Um, so that's cool. Uh, among a lot of other stuff, like your delete range. This is pretty cool. Also, make sure you're not messing around in your um, normal game files unless you have a copy saved, just in case you mess something up. One thing to watch out for. This is a world I made specifically for this video. So make sure you're safe with how you manage your files while modding. So we're in the game. Um, console works. We got all this stuff en enabled right off the bat. So press Z to fly. Yes, sir. Everything's working. Didn't have to type in the commands. It's better creative. Let's get the hammer out. Better Creative adds all these cool options, like you can summon NPCs on the go. Boom. Uh, you can control Z to undo anything you do with the hammer, which is pretty cool. So that's cool. All right, this Valweed thing. Let's, let's see what the fuck this is about. Is it in the items? Okay. We got, we got joint hybrid. Okay, okay. So the mod is working. Let's... More of a hybrid fella. Let's see. Okay, I, I don't I don't know what the fuck high hybrid does, but I imagine it does something to your stamina or health. I would assume. But yeah. So, the mods are working just fine. That's fucking awesome. So that will be the end of this video. Taught you how to use Thunderstore. How to install mods. Yada, yada, yada. Whole nine yards. Um, if you're interested in what kind of mods you want to do, I mean, dude, just just look around on YouTube, show some support for some of the channels out there. They uh, they got some good modding content up. You just got to search for it on YouTube. Look around. My next video, I will talk about how to do this same process with Thunderstore, and we are going to implement that with a dedicated server. So that is what we'll do next video, and then I'll I'll do a video on Nexus as well i'll do that side of it um do like a nexus versus thunderstore kind of thing i guess i do like thunderstore a little more but my opinion could change so anyway yeah um thanks for watching make sure you subscribe if you've learned something or even if you fucking hated the video just just subscribe you know who cares just hit that button